check two one two what up it's dj divine justice always a good day to learn something new today i'm dealing with uh serrato and uh my ableton setup so right now i have the uh ttm 57 by rain working as a sound card for serrato and on the same computer running ableton using um the original Stanton Final Scratch interface Firewire sound card uh, for that, for Ableton. Because if uh, you open up Ableton and you select the TTM57 while Serato is running, Serato will automatically stop working through. It, it'll keep open the two decks, but the sound quality will, there will be no sound coming through. So, a little background each channel has two digital and two analog and basically on your on your outports on the back you can see uh, this would be the first analog this would be the second this would be the first analog this would be the first digital this would be the second analog this would be the second digital so on the second analog I have this turntable going through so if I just play that you'll just hear the, the tone and if I switch it over to digital You'll actually hear what's happening on uh, on, Ab on Serato. Um, this is working as my cue point, so I can hit directly to that James Brown. Cue that back up. Over on this side, I have the second analog selected because that's the output coming into this mixer the output is coming from that sound card and that's what's running Ableton the reason I did it that way is because this uh, MPD with the transport controls when I press play now will start playing through this channel I did have it coming in through the auxiliary um, but I like it better this way because I have more control with the volume fader and the EQs and the EQ kills. So um, over here, these are working as my track volume controls for, for Ableton. You see, I can make channel four go um, up and down. I can also uh, mute channel four and unmute it and stop the whole channel. You can see the little stop button going. Um, so if I press play, I have. Uh, Little Wayne's acapella, and then the 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 a remix of uh, what's his name, Flo Rider's Low. So you'll hear it playing together when I press play, and it'll be coming through on this channel. Now I'm, I'm keep on relaunching the beginning of that flow lighter track. You can see that lighting up because if I just let it play, it'll start going into the vocals and they'll blend over each other. And I'll stop that. Now an interesting thing of going back and forth between Ableton um, and uh, and Scratch Live when it's on the same computer. Now I can drag tracks straight from like the deck drag it over to Ableton and as you can see that little track right there it'll open and start analyzing it. Now I can't drag back from Ableton over to Scratch Live directly but what I can do is if it's either in the folder I can open it like this song and drag it directly over and it'll work that way as long as you're dragging from the browser um, or it worked before anyway yeah there we go see it took a little while because it's only it's only a little gateway not running the Mac yet um, and if it's not in the direct folder of the song that you're working on you can also find the song right click 
and go down to show in browser then it'll search for where that song is in your computer and actually show it over here and it's that highlighted song down there and I can drag from here over to Scratch Live and it'll play that. Um, so just an interesting way of interfacing between the two. Um, that's all I really have for now. DJ Divine Justice. Peace. Practice and enjoy.